I, I'm recording this uh, schematic design instructional vi video. This is for Christina. Uh, we're looking, what I've done here is cobbled together floor one, floor three and four of the, uh, of the 560 Harrison Avenue. Floor two is a little bit strange in that elevationally the you know there's a space in the middle that's sort of like uh bumps up and i think that's why we're missing a floor plan but for purposes of this we'll just look at you know sort of the you know the spatial requirements so the first thing i want to do i'm working with a 50 grid 50 square uh um five foot grid so i'm going to uh, select colors that allow me to block out my, oh, let me put this can I put it underneath the drawing why it's drawing on top I, I could fix that in a minute but um so all this is vertical circulation right elevator it's about 100 square feet there we have an exit entrance here I'm pretty sure there's a stair this leads to an exit out here, which is shared in part by an adjacent building. We'll have to figure out where the stair is there. Um, but we expect it to be somewhere in this vicinity, right? So I'm identifying roughly where I think it's not lining up exactly but we don't need to bother with that right now and there has to be a clear path from the exits to any one of these so I'm gonna I'm just gonna draw really schematically simply Let's just imagine that we have that kind of circulation. Then we get to the floor, we are we're able to continue somehow. We accidentally drew on a different layer. So I'm setting aside, you know, space that I know is needs to be clear to navigate um, through. The building now. Um, there may need to be uh, circulation to um, spaces along this is the uh, Harrison Avenue uh, facade. There may be uh, spaces along here that we need access to. So let's just say that we have this forms something of a spine. Why am I drawing them all in the same place? Because the corridors uh, typically align from floor to floor on top of each other and they need to They need to be fire rated, so um, stairwells obviously need to line up so that you can vertically enclose, protect those areas in two hour rating. So Christina's got waiting rooms at 400, restrooms at 400, injection rooms 
800 classrooms, 600. Let's move to, let's call this the circulation grid, just lock it. And let's move to the 100 uh, uh, square foot grid. So now we can more easily draw some of these spaces. So if I move up here, 400 square feet for the nurse's office can be, let me um, pick a color for Christina's uh, program space, green. There's 400 square feet for nurse's office, 200 square feet for testing, Maybe we need a different color for that. Four hundred, two hundred. Lobby, I imagine, is going to be at the ground floor. So let's just call this the lobby. Waiting rooms. Four hundred square. One, two, three, four. We don't want that color. We want a different color. So, uh, I'm basically blocking out the plan and the static pattern. You know, there's something about the alignment of walls. We probably want to work with a drawing that's aligned along. Um, Harrison Avenue. That is, I would want probably this wall to be orthogonal or facing south, but we'll do that in a separate lesson. So, lobby, we've got, there's a drug room of a hundred. Let's just draw them anywhere. Each every testing exam room is six hundred. One, two, three, four. Five, six. There's an exam room. I think we do the nurses' station there. Main office, a hundred. Waiting rooms. We do restrooms. Restrooms are usually near exits, and we want to line those out. So let's just call the. Let's make those blue, gray. Four hundred square feet. One, two, three. Well, let's imagine that restrooms are going to be on two floors, right? Because you wouldn't want to have to travel to a different floor. So two hundred on one floor, two hundred. Back of house and classrooms, 600 and 600, and injection rooms we have not yet taken care of. But let's do the 800 for injection rooms. Let's try this funky color. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 800 for injection rooms. 600 for classrooms. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we did nurse's office and back of house. 600. Maybe 300 on each floor. Let's say back of house is this purple. One, two, Three, one, two, three. Um, so we're, we're, we've got to think about how we're going to fit onto two floors. Uh, uh, Christina's original drawing had everything crammed into one floor. Let's see if I can pull that up.
So this this drawing is not leaving much for circulation in between. So I think we're going to have to do two floors and we'll take it for I had the lobby right. So we'll take it from there.